Hello back again to a new episode talking about the Driven by Moss 4 Reaper extension. All the new goodies we get for Bitwig, like the new polyphonic sequencer, is now also available for Reaper. As I showed, if you maybe have seen the previous video I did for Bitwig, is you can move to the note view and there you get also the poly sequencer. And the poly sequencer is you have the play area below and up there you can insert some notes. And if you create a new clip here. I changed something here as well so if you create a new clip it's not automatically enabling the recording. The reason for this was that you directly can use then the sequencer and also play. So let's see. We have some sound here and you can also use the octave so we have a higher one. We can do it like this and you differently like with other sequences you do not just enable steps but before you have to play something like a chord or a single note so let's play this chord and then you can say i want to have this chord here you can have another one So you can quickly build up a rhythmic element of your music and yeah, that's basically what you can do with that sequencer. And another thing a lot of people were asking about, which is now exclusively available here in Reaper, is you can use the repeat button, yay! Let's load up a drum instrument like battery. Let's go to battery, show up the device window and let's load a kit. And we should now have some drum sounds. So now we can hear. So now it's available back to here and we want to show the blah, blah, blah. Let's go to the play view for, for demonstration purposes. So now you can say, I want to have repeat. What happens when you enable repeat? Uh, you see there is the input effects turning up. So you will have here a note repeater plugin in there. And this is basically just used for the repeat effect. It's just in your, not in your insert, but in your input insert. So that means you can record what's happening there. Like it's normally played on your keyboard. So and if you press it, again you will see the effect is simply turned off what you can do you can do it like this And you can also change the resolution. If you long press the repeat button, you can say, okay, it's quarters now, let's go maybe to 16th. You can go very fast with that as well. Let's go back to quarter notes and let's say, okay, we also want to create a new clip here. Let's turn that one down. We have a new clip here let's go to the drum view and here can you can use that feature as well so you can either record that straight away maybe let's have a metronome for that so you can enable record and like this, quantize, let's go to 16th, so that's basically how you can use the repeat function. So I hope you enjoyed that and make some funky music.